there's the upcoming twist format which is Whizbang heroes which is basically every single hero or if you own the legendary listed here uh you get this for free if you've opened an ashes of Elands pack you get kalthos and if you get if you've opened a whispers of the old gods pack you get c'thun uh every single hero hero has like its own hero power and passive so for farms is like one mana discover a spell from your opponent's class that costs three less and then his passive is your legendary cards cost one less which i think is really cool but i think they didn't do this twist format justice because as far as i'm concerned they're not actually going to post anything on their official site for like what the full classes are but luckily imic who is the guy who runs hearthpone showed it every single one so i thought i would go through it all you guys because i think some of them look really cool Zyrella looks unreal fun i'm gonna be real i'm really excited for it and the cool thing is is that every single one of these classes has their own deck list um let me see if i can find it i don't know if it's here i don't wait where are the deck whoa, whoa, whoa i don't want to do that hold on hold on technical difficulties technical difficulties i swear they're a deck list hold on am i stupid wait what wait i swear i saw the master okay okay so for example there's the arfis one right arfis is if you own arfis you get one mana spend up to three corpses for each reduce the cost of a card in your hand by one and then his passive is dig up frost after you play a frost rune card excavate swap to unholy and then legendary treasures are random and then this is the deck he gets so i was like really worried because in my opinion i think like what makes twist format so fun is the deck building portion of it but after going through the decks i actually think there's really really cool ideas that they've done i don't think arfis really shows that to this so this is the deck list it's just classic death knight stuff i think it's fine um if you're wondering why they did their own deck list it's because i think there's a lot of balancing problems <laughs> that can come with this uh white mane purify one mana silence a minion if it's friendly draw a card at the start of your turn reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by three this turn only really really interesting here's the deck list uh it's like silence priest which i think is kind of funny like what like look this the deck lists are so strange because it just has gigafin for some reason even though it's priest uh this one again cool not that exciting um this one's not a part of the list as far as i'm concerned right so this might be like something else that's going to be coming uh sargeras destroy all minions for zero mana only usable once which is cool at the start of your first turn shuffle 10 cost spells that deal 30 damage in your deck and they're literally just 10 mana deal 30 which is insane and then here's the deck list which i think is really cool slow warlock deck very a lot of time to get to your late game strategy really really interesting that's so funny though uh then we got tenzin so tenzin starts off like this one mana for blood pack take one damage draw that many cards increase this you have two lives after you die your hero power summons a minion instead of drawing cards which is so cool dude like that is that is awesome like that is so much more interesting than just like how warlock normally plays and then we have um i guess it's resurrected when it comes back and obviously you just summon a minion which i think is really cool so the more you press that button before you die the better that this hero power becomes really really cool strategy there and then this is the deck I think this one's really cool too. I don't know why Boom Boss is in here, but whatever. Uh, then we got Brukhan. So Brukhan's is two mana, strike twice, summon an elemental, plus one, plus one for each turn in a row you played an elemental. And then his passive is after you play six elementals, call upon the power of the elements twice, which I believe is just from like his hero power, but I think that's reoccurring too. It's not just once per game obviously it's a full elemental deck i don't know if this one's gonna be that great it's kind of slow i think i think this one's like one of the least exciting ones but it's fine uh edward van cleef one mana to shuffle three coins into your deck after you play your rightmost card draw a card this one is insanely cool because it is just a strictly miracle deck which is very interesting and draka is in it so sometimes you do get to just absolutely high roll i think edwin's also in it this one looks really really fun as well I'm, I'm pumped i'm pumped um mind under elusia empty the mind for two mana get a copy of a card from your opponent's deck passive the first card you play each turn that didn't start in your deck costs health instead of mana also really interesting because it actually like encourages you to use your hero power rather than just spending two mana for nothing 
and this is the deck it's just full steel which is cool i i also like that princess talanji's in here too and like she a copy of my render lucia's in the in her own deck which is really stupid uh queen ajara so queen ajara's is two mana draw a spell and then it swaps two mana command naga to so draw naga after you play a spell refresh two mana crystals after you switch a naga also swaps your hero so this is like naga mage but i actually haven't seen the deck list here hold on as long as sharpshooters in here i'm fine all right i don't like how um lady seno and raj are in there but we, we can work with this we can work with this at least it's not sharpshooter if sharpshooter was in here i hope this one's not good because it's gonna suck to play against uh mergleton sir friendly mergleton one mana draw a murloc your murlocs have rush pretty self-explanatory i think this one's actually just relatively good uh because murlocs synergize really well together didn't put the 10 mana spell in though from paladin kind of questionable but that's fun uh kalthos one mana burn a card in your deck passive after you destroy a card in your deck give a random fire spell in your hand spell damage plus two and this is the deck this is uh this is a pretty strange deck it has to be a fire spell that gets the damage there right yeah so like what do you want to buff i guess you're hoping you're gonna discover a fire spell for burn because this one seems kind of whatever but yeah this is kind of cool uh brand bronze beer your next battle cry triggers twice already having ptsd from brand and uh standard hearthstone and then we have brand saddle after you play a battle cry mini and transform it into a random beast at the same cost that's kind of crazy and then this is the deck also super controlly which is cool i like how a lot of these decks are like let's play for the board makes it it's probably gonna be really really fun i hope i'm not coping here uh nazoth's is two mana rise again shaman a one one copy of the last death rattle minion you played after you play a death rattle minion trigger it's death rattle that's really really strong for a passive to have and obviously he's just catered with death rattles some of these are really really good and like baron's in the deck too which is also very intriguing uh cthoon one mana discover a follower of cthoon i would imagine that just means anything that buffs cthoon and then his passive is cthoon starts in your hand which i think is also really really cool after two friendly minions die give your cthoon plus one plus one that's really like so low key i really hope they take this passive and use it for something else like commander and hearthstone i think that would be really cool but really really cool music's too loud i lowered it i lowered it um sorry i didn't realize it was loud where was i dr boo two mana boom spiration summon a one one boom bot which is basically um the boom bots we've known dr boom for you know we know and love for him uh after a friendly mech dies summon a bomb into your opponent's deck i actually think this is kind of nuts this one might be the best one just because it's so easy to shuffle mechs or it's so easy to get your mechs to die and the, obviously the deck is entirely based on this like th this this one's probably going to be the best one in my opinion i think it's really really strong and of course it's dr boom he's uh he's pretty nuts so we've seen reform this is the deck list in case anyone's curious it's a deck of all legendaries which is obviously really exciting uh alakir is one mana give a minion taunt in divine shield then after you play a legendary elemental call upon the power of an element which i'm not sure what that is i think that's might be just caligos's thing um or calamos not caligos calamos i don't know if this one's gonna be good either the elemental ones are kind of lame um patches draw a pirate for three mana costs reduces by one after you play a pirate which i'm pretty sure is like what the old bg power used to be is this fan made no this is what it's gonna be the new twist format after you summon a pirate it deals one damage to a random enemy i got kind of nuts this one's also very good very very aggressive very very aggressive uh it might be this is the coolest one dude i think this one right here might be the coolest one in the entire game i would highly recommend you have what do you need for this just cyrella the four mana from forge one mana restore two health mana thirst eight restore four health instead and then your passive is your max health is 60 reach it to win the game damaging the enemy hero heals your hero bro that is such a fun mini game inside your game i love it i'm such a big fan of this i hope this one's good because i think it adds a lot of like depth to a hearthstone game also i think this should just be playable a, as a tavern brawl i think this is so much fun really really cool design and then this is the deck for it 
A lot of ways to heal yourself. I think that one's really, really cool. Uh, Nosdormu is two mana. Draw a dragon. It costs one last start with an extra mana crystal. You only have 30 seconds to take your turn. I don't think that's going to be as good as people say it is other than the... Oh, actually, I, I'm wrong. I don't think 30 seconds is that bad. I think starting with an extra mana crystal is broken, though. So that's probably going to be pretty great because it's not like these turns are ridiculously hard, right? Uh, Leroy Jenkins. Leroy the Legend. Zero mana. The next minion you play this turn costs health instead of mana. Both players' cards cost one less. What does he have in this? Very aggressive deck. Oh, God. Worse on commanders in here. This one kind of seems kind of lame. I'm not going to lie, but I guess it makes sense because Leroy, it's a Leroy deck. Oh, they have Crusader or in it. It's over. The, the format's ruined. King Crush, six mana to get plus eight attack this turn. Holy moly. Uh, passive is after you cast a spell, reduce the cost of a beast in your hand by the spell's cost. That's really exciting. So the King Crush is in it. Shrival is in it. Oh my God. That's a cool deck. King Crush looks exciting. This one might be really good too. Uh, Zuljin, two mana, discover a secret. It costs one less. Warriors of Amani, after you play a secret, summon a 2-2 Berserker. So this is what, just Secret Hunter? Yeah, it's just Secret Hunter for the most part. Not bad. Could be cool. Uh, Guff, Feral Frenzy, one mana, plus one attack this turn, usable twice a turn. After your hero gains attack, they also gain that much armor. I think this one's really cool. It's like, uh, it's actually, it lets you play like a Druid. Which I think Hearthstone does a really good job already with cards, but big fan. I think it's really cool. Oh, I just realized uh, Dragon Bane's in this with a one mana hero power they can use twice. That's nuts. Uh, Forest Warden Omu is one mana, get a 2 2 trance, and then Rapid Growth is after you summon a tree and adapt randomly. And obviously, this is a deck full of trance. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I wish this was something else. I wish you got to pick it, but I think like, if you pick it, it might be too broken, but it's still cool. Illidan is uh, one mana plus one attack and life steal this turn. And then after a friendly character attacks, reduce the cost of a spell in your, oh my God, reduce the cost of a fell spell in your hand by one. But this one's crazy because it's after a friendly character attacks. It's not just him. So any friendly minion that attacks is nuts. Oh my God. Death, uh, Lich King is two mana, summon a one, one zombie with reborn and charge. It dies at the end of turn. After you spend a corpse, summon a risen skeleton with stats equal to the corpse spent. Kind of cool. Uh, this is the deck. Nothing too exciting here. It's just it's just death line stuff. I think that's all of them for now. I again, I'm really excited for Zyrella. I think Zyrella is cool. I, I hope they make this into um, a tavern brawl at some point. But yeah, this is the twist format. It'll be out at the start of this next month. So June 1st, if you own any of the legendaries, you get to play the deck. You just have to queue it in. I haven't seen Ruska yet. I don't know if it's there. Maybe I missed it. I'm excited though. This is the first twist format in a while where I'm like, damn, could be really, really good. I hope it's good. I don't want to see Ruska. Oh, here we go. Fury and Ren, give your hero Win Fury this turn. At the start of your turn, if you have no weapon equipped, equip with the leftmost weapon in your hand. But it's so dumb that you need to have the legendaries. Why would I craft on a legend for a temporary format? I'm, okay. Me personally, I don't think this is bad whatsoever. I'm I think this is probably the best way they can do a twist format that's still fun and exciting that doesn't require you to have a ton of dust also you get four legendaries for free well two basically these are 200 gold because you just have to buy one ash of Elans pack and one old gods pack I think it's completely fine I am really really excited for this format I I think it's gonna be really well done I guess these are the ones that have not been announced yet maybe I don't know yeah I think I think that's really really cool Anyways, that's the twist format.